Hey guys, welcome to JCW Outdoors. Hunting season might be over, however, I thought now would be a good time to share some of the recipes that uh, my wife and I like to make. Today we're doing grouse poppers. You know, nothing uh, crazy or over the top, but I uh, just thought I'd show you a little bit how I put them together. It's not a secret recipe or anything over the top, but um, a couple little things I do that I've found to enhance the flavor. Additionally, I do have some content from some other hunts that I was on. I think periodically I'll kind of put some of those together. And so we'll have a few more videos coming your way until we get to uh, the 2021 fall hunting season. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy this. And if there's anything that you're curious about, any particular recipes that, uh, you know, you've heard of that I might enjoy, please feel free to share them down in the comments. Anyway, thanks. The meat we're dealing with here is uh, sharp-tailed grouse. Um, I uh, just breasted them out. As you can see, I've got the main breast, the quote-unquote tenderloin, and then the hearts. What I usually do with the hearts is just wrap them up or throw them in and just cook them by themselves. But anyway, the tenderloins are pretty good. Um, I'll probably cut those in half. Each half will make a, a popper. The biggest thing I wanted to show you at this stage is what I do with the breasts. And grouse can be gamey. As you can see, it's a fairly dark meat. So what I do is uh, just lay them out and go with the fork. Just go ahead and uh, fork it up real good. All right, so I could sit here forever, but I think you get the gist of it. So your bigger pieces of meat, darker pieces of meat, we're going to fork it. And the reason being to A, allow some of the marinade to come out. In this case, I'm going to be using Italian dressing. So let the marinade soak in, let the gaminess come out. And um, yeah, then after that's done, I uh, cut them into the pieces then for the poppers. So that's how I do stage one. All right, I've got the grouse breast forked and in a gallon Ziploc baggie. Probably could have gotten away with a two quart, but anyway, and then I just use Italian dressing. It doesn't have to be any particular brand. I usually get the cheapest one I can find. Just go ahead and get that nice and shaken up. You don't need a whole lot. Let's see, I maybe used a quarter of the bottle, third of the bottle, perhaps. All right, and now I'm just going to uh, seal it, leave just a bit in the corner, push all of the air out. So that way you just got your meat and your Italian dressing. Just kind of work it around in there. I'll throw this in the refrigerator for 10, 15 minutes and then shake it around again take it out and put it back in. So, pepper, slice off the top. And I like to uh, slice down the side. Just like that, Gotta keep going and like that. Split it apart. Mini peppers, one sweet by sunset. All right, uh, what I've got here is eight ounces of cream cheese. We'll throw it in the microwave, heat it up a little bit, and then add seasoning to it. When you put seasoning with the cream cheese before you put it into the popper, it just gives it uh, a little bit better flavor. 
and also uh, tastefully simple. It's pretty hipster, but I promise you'd enjoy it. So that's what we'll do. So we're gonna heat this up, add our seasoning, and we'll start stuffing. All right, as you can see, my wife's getting the cream cheese mixed up with our tastefully simple. And then I'll start cutting the pieces of grouse here. So since the peppers are fairly long, we'll uh, yeah, just cut lengthwise or diagonally kind of across the breast. And there you go. You can see grouse is a very, very red. It's really a good, good tasting meat. But anyway, we'll start jamming on this. And as with uh, red meats in general, duck, grouse, goose, medium rare at the most. I like mine pretty darn rare. So something to keep in mind, you don't want to overcook them. And here we've got our bacon. It appears the wife got thick cut bacon, so she really dropped the ball. She disappointed me, but we'll make it work. Oh, hey, hon. So usually what I do is take your bacon and yeah this is thick cut I always try to get just the cheapest most generic bacon you can find you know yarn eating it plain it's not for a good breakfast it's just to keep your uh, game meat moisturized so so I'm a big believer in using tin foil to save yourself dishes so just grab yourself a basic little cookie sheet throw some tin foil on there spray it with your uh, extra virgin olive oil Make sure your dog is right behind you in case you drop anything. Right, Sage? Start off here. Take pepper. I don't like too much cheese. For me, the ticket is the, the good blend of cheese and meat. Again, the cheese gives you some good flavor, keeps it together. And then we'll take a piece of meat, slap that across there. Some people do water chestnuts. Some people are blasphemous. So you can do this a couple ways. I hate it when they fall apart. So I'll take one toothpick, put it down here at the far end, push it through, use this to get a good wrap, get it around the second side there, go right through. And there you have your finished popper. Well, ready to cook anyway. And I'm gonna show you guys how to save a ton of money in your household. See this toothpick? Boom, now I've got two toothpicks, so you can thank me later when you're out buying your new Super Black Eagle or heck, with the money you'll save on uh, toothpicks, yeah, you'll be buying those uh, Merkel double barrels, be joining gun clubs, you're just going to be pretty amazing, so you're welcome. Feels good, I'm kind of like the Dave Ramsey of household tips. And yeah, I am better than I deserve. What of it? So yeah, like this one, you can see there's too much cream cheese, but I won't complain because then my wife will get mad and she'll stop helping me out. Look at this. I finally found a way to get her to stop talking. <laughs> what? Hey, awesome. So I don't know if any of you guys have kids, but... There's this math game called Prodigy where if you get the math problem right, you can attack these weird little, like, Game of Thrones, weird, like, medieval stuff. Anyway, my son's obsessed with it. And anyway, so if you got a kid and they like games, but you don't like them playing, you know, regular weird games, Prodigy is worth checking out because then at least they do learn something. Not much, but... And the best part is you get to spend less time with them, more time with yourself. Look at that, you can buy a Merkel and go hunting with it with everything I'm giving you in this video. So as we're finishing these up, I suppose I should mention preheat your oven to 400. Um, I'll include kind of a little breakdown in the description, but 400 is a good temp where you're basically just trying to uh, in my opinion, cook the bacon on the outside, get it crisp, and you know, like I said, the game meat, that'll do it just right to give you a nice medium rare 
internal uh, internal temp for the meat. So I don't know. I, I don't have a firm recipe, but I'm gonna say we probably do what 15, 12 to 15 minutes. And uh, sometimes what's kind of nice is if your bacon isn't quite done, but your meat is, just pop it on broil for a minute or two and really crisps that bacon up and uh, yeah, puts a nice finish on your popper. Show you guys that there. So yeah, take another piece of bacon, just gonna lay it over the top. Ended up with uh, one piece of bacon left and otherwise our poppers are all set up, ready to roll. So yeah, we'll pop them in and I'll show them to you when we're done. All right, so these have been going for about 10 minutes now. What I'm gonna do is go up to my broil. All right, let me turn it off. Custom broil start. Which is 500 degrees if you don't have the broil function. But um, Alexa, set timer for two minutes. Yeah, my daughter's got a key in the backpack. I know. Larry, you don't want to be in there, do you? <laughs> Alright, go let him out or do whatever you're going to do. Larry! Larry! The household no, Larry. is just a chaotic Larry. mess right now. But anyway, uh, we'll get one final shot of the poppers and you can see the doneness. But otherwise, it's pretty simple. It's just mostly preparation. You know, seeding, taking the seeds out of your jalapenos. Slice them in half, putting in the cream cheese, your piece of meat, wrap it in bacon, and throw it in the oven. And I promise if you take it to any Super Bowl party, uh, everyone's gonna love it. Or your kids, family, whatever. It's just, it's a good time. It's bacon and meat and cream cheese. So who doesn't love that? All right, we've got our finished product here. Usually take out one of the, one of the bigger ones to uh, test for doneness. Pull your toothpick. Right down the middle and medium rare. Maybe a little too done. That's a bummer. No, I'm just kidding. They'll be good. So anyway, uh, bon appetit. Thanks, guys.